It's fast, it's fierce, and it's a world first. Part car, part rocket, Bloodhound took to the runway at Cornwall Newquay Airport today for the very first time. In the driving seat, Wing Commander Andy Green, who's no stranger to high speeds. He set the current world land speed record 20 years ago in a different design. Right from the first run, it felt right. The steering was crisp, the chassis is very stiff, the suspension is exactly right, it's well sorted, it's handling well, the stability is good. It was a little, just wandering a little bit in crosswinds. Then we added the tail fin, which is designed to run at high speed, and it became rock steady. Created to reach heady speeds of up to one and a half thousand miles per hour, today it did 210. Not bad for a test run making it the most advanced straight-line racing car in the world. It's one of a kind. To do that, you've got to innovate. Uh, you've got to be different. New technology, you've got to take all sorts of risks, and this is what we've done here. So if it looked like any other car, we'd have, we, we would fail, simple as that. Well, the runway here at Newquay Airport is 2.7 kilometres long. That covers that distance in a matter of seconds. It's quite a sight to behold, which is why thousands of people have turned out to see it in action. It's really interesting. So it's like quite an amazing thing to watch as like a young person. It's quite a like it's something that's going to go down history. I'm waiting nine years to see it, and um, just the atmosphere and the whole day, and uh, see Andy put the press the throttle and go down that runway was. Uh, it was, uh, it was well worth the wait. I thought it was quieter than it was going to be, but uh, very good. Just we don't want to drive home as fast as that tonight. <laughs> the Bloodhound team say this is the best high-speed car it's ever produced. Next stop, the desert, to push the car to its limit, proving it really can achieve its potential supersonic speeds. Catherine Nash, 5 News.